The Silver Cup Handicap Chase is next. This is a 3 mile 0 to 1.30. And at the top, we've got two for Darren Thompson, Acaster, Malvis, and Deepdale. Ozark Largo for Vinnie Gerard, Armageddon, Martin, and What No Son, Craig Beckwith. Common Blue Chip, Stu Gray, Hidden Persuader, Leon Van Rensburg, James Bond, David Hooley, Danzig Caramel, and Moletrian Slain for Thomas Rogers, Xenophon, Croy, James Shea. Days are numbered for Graham Clutterbuck, Inuit Symbol, Ben Bonici, and Romantic li Liaison for Obi Wan. So 14. To face the star this time. And away they go. With a caster Malbis down this near side of the first. It's a very short run to the first. Which they've all got over okay. They've got 19 more to take. And it's a short run to the second as well. With a caster Malbis on the inside of Inuit Symbol. With days are numbered in between them. Then a little bit of a gap back to Myletri and Slane as they get to the second. Which again they're all over nicely. Good jump there from the... Uh, one of those horses in there, what no sun, put in a particularly good leap. Looking towards the back, Romantic Liaison and Armageddon are the back two as they take the first ditch. And over that one, they all go, and they're all over that one, okay. With A Castor Malbus then settled down there in the lead, leading by two. Two days are numbered in second as they get to the fourth. They've got through four fences pretty quickly. Mistake there was by Danzig Caramel. That one has now shuffled to the back of the pack. Well, it's A Castor Malbus. Who shows the way, leading by two and a half lengths to Inuit Symbol on the outside of Days and Numbered. And then Xenophon, Croy, and James Bond with Myletri and Slane, who's just dropped back a little bit alongside Hidden Persuader. Wider on the track, deep down with the white sleeves in and down on this near side, I'm getting in the maroon with a yellow cap with What No Sun next to that one. Then come on, Blue Chip on the far side as they take number five, which they're all over okay. The back three are the yellow jacketed Romantic Liaison, and then the two. In the green as they get over that one, Danzig Caramel and Ozark Largo. This is the next ditch. And over that one, they all go and they all jump that one nicely. Plenty of jumping been done already, and this is already fence number eight. And they skip over that one nicely with A Castor Malvis clearing the lead, probably by about four now. To Graham Clutterbuck's days are numbered on the inside of Xenophon Croy. Then comes James Bond. Yeah, Myletri and Slane after that one. Inuit Symbols just dropped back a little bit. What No Sun has now switched to the outside with Deepdale just behind. And then Armageddon down on this near side. Being chased by Ozark Largo and Danzig Cameron who made a little bit of ground. Hidden Persuader in the blue with the yellow cap has dropped back a little bit. Mistake there was my grand Clutterbox horse. Days are numbered. And that was now shuffled down the pack. So they're going to come up past the stand then. And A Castor Malbis has now got a six length lead. So clear in front then, Acaster Malvis, a good six lengths, takes this fence to be the last on the next circuit, jump out a little bit slowly, Inuit Symbols over it one in second, James Bond over it even better in third, then what no on the outside of Deepdale, Xenophon Croy's down on the near side with Myletri and Slane, who's also close up, then Armageddon and Ozark Largo, and they pass the winning post then with a complete circuit to go. And it's Acaster Malbus is in the lead. Inuit Symbol is second and James Bond is third. What No Sun is four and then Xenophon Croy is five and then Deep Bell is six and Monetary and Slane is seven. And then Danger and the Knows Art Lago and Armageddon and Persuader and Come On Blue Chip Romantic Liaison and finally Danzig Caramel at the back in the shades of green. But it's Acaster Malbus who continues to lead by about three lengths as they get into this next one. All over that one nicely as well. The Inuit symbol in second and James Bond stalking in third. Then comes Deepdale four. Xenophon Croy's next. What no son is now going one on the outside. Wider still is come on blue chip as they get over that one. Bit of a slow jump by Romantic Liaison. And seeing that one now just shuffle to the back of the pack. But Acaster Malbis is in the lead. And this ditch. Oh, that one they go. Another good jump by What No Son on the outside. Appears to be going really well. A Castor Malvis though continues to lead. James Bond is second. What no sun third as they take the next. Inuit symbol on the inside fourth mistake. That time was by Xenophon Croy and that one has now dropped towards the rear. They've got less than a mile to go now. And they're starting to shuffle into the position they want to be for racing through this final period of the race and Acaster Malbus has been in the lead all the way leads by three lengths to James Bond in second what no son is third Armageddon is now creeping around the outside in fourth Inuit symbol he's on the rail being tracked by Hidden Persuader as they get down to the next 
I know that on the go. Mistake, couple of mistakes there. Deep down, made a mistake, and also Romance at the ocean again at the back. Come on, blue chip, a bit flat footed as they get over the next one. Another mistake by Romance at the ocean, and it's Hey Castam Alves who's still in the lead with five furlongs to go. That's the 17th, that's gonna be the final ditch. They've got three more fences to take, and it's Hey Castam Alves in the lead from Hidden Persuader. Armageddon on the outside, then comes What No Sun, then Xenophon Croy getting back into it again. Mylettery and Slane is still there. James Bond's now got a bit one pace, so to as in you, it's simple. Days are numbered. Is trying to run on and they're coming there towards the home straight. They're swinging towards home. They've got two more fences to take. And it's suddenly Xenophon Croy who's burst there to take it up. Xenophon Croy's gone on then from in second place. The long time leader, eh? Castam Alves. Then comes James Bond, Hidden Persuader and Armageddon. They come to the second last. Over that one they go. They all get everyone. Another good jump on. What no son who's trying to run on again, but it's Xenophon Croy who's in the lead. Xenophon Croy from top weight, eh? Castam Alves in second. They race down towards the final fence in there. Xenophon. Croy a length and a half up from Acaster Malvis in second. James Bond back in third. They're at the final fence now. Over it they go. Xenophon Croy with a better jump by Acaster Malvis. And Acaster Malvis has gone on. He knew it. Symbols are falling at the back. It's Acaster Malvis. Xenophon Croy getting back up now. now. And Xenophon Croy into the final half. Where long is in the lead. But James Bond is finishing well. So too is What No Son. This is going to be a close one as they get towards the line. It's going to be just James Bond getting up on the outside to take it. James Bond wins it. Close for second. What No Son. Xenophon Croy. My lucky and train finish. Well, the top weight Acaster Malbis just ran out of it in the running. It looked like that jumper that lasted sealed the race for the top weight, but the weight I think told. And James Bond takes it for David Hooley, Xenophon Croy for James Shea second, What No Son Craig Beck with third, Acaster Malbis for Darren Thompson was fourth, and Mylettrian Slane for Thomas Rogers was fifth.